we go, here we go. I've got this lovely 50 by 50 canvas. I'm gonna have a play with this one today and see what lovely um, effects we can get on this in some absolutely gorgeous shades of blue um, that I've, some of them I've custom made. I'll explain as I go along. Um, I'm just thinking I should really do one of the um, ring pour backgrounds maybe. Give that a go again, I love it. What I think I may do is with this white I have here, do nothing more than pour this gorgeous, it was the phalo blue with silver and it makes this gorgeous metallic blue. And I'm thinking if I actually, this white has kind of been sitting here a while, so I'm gonna just pour it in from a height and wiggle it around so I get the mixture. Um, I may then do my corners with this. I think this is a bit thick. It is too. I need to, I made this up, but I need to thin it but I'll just put some on there and I'll use my spongy brush just to brush the edges in like that. It's just so I don't have to then tilt right, you know, worry about losing some of my, so much of my paint over the edges if you've already got paint on your edges. Rightio. So yeah, I need to add a bit more pouring medium to that paint because it is very thick. Uh, I like making my paint up in those containers because it's, you know, just saves so much time having it on hand, a larger amount in the litre bottle. But um, I made it up a bit thick. Rightio, let's just do that for now on that one. And then... Like I said, I have put the, that lovely blue in there. I'm going to give it one oh, oh, stir around. Oh, that colour is so gorgeous. There you go. And I might just ring pour it. Wow, the colour is absolutely gorgeous. When I, when I emptied this out, I usually have marbles in the bottom and I must have put the, dre the dregs of it into the cup. Hence why I've got marbles. I could do the marbly thing, but I'm not a fan of it. So I just think sometimes it can actually send your paint muddy. So I'm not gonna do that. I am just gonna tilt this around my canvas get the lovely uh, ring pour effect. Obviously got so much more white there and I love this effect here. So I will think about how I do the composition for the next bit that I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll try and keep the nice ring pour effect up here. I don't actually think I've got enough paint to tilt it all over this canvas, but I've got something in mind, and look, I've got a gooby there. Let me get that out. See, yeah, it must have been the last of that paint out of that container that I just poured into a cup sometime last week. I've just kept it covered up. So I'll just make the best of it. It'll be fine. Remember, don't stress. Just rethink. Rightio. I think that actually will dictate my composition for this piece. It definitely has got some nasty bits in it. Some snooters, snooty bits, 
Okay. I think I'm going to just do my other bits around the... I'm going to halo it, I guess. That will be... I think that will work okay. We'll give it a go anyway. I'm sure I can get something out of it, but absolutely love that silver with the phalo blue in or it is gorgeous so there we go we'll wiggle around the outside now that has dictated what i'm going to do on this particular canvas so keep the wiggles going these gorgeous metallic blue is just the bomb it's beautiful 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 Rightio, I'm going to put some um, silver in with this. So this is just the silver, metallic silver. So it is very metallic-y and it's going to glisten these gorgeous blues in. So it's kind of just wiggling your paints. Oh. I'll use that up. Um, I might go, these are all the uh, global colours with the pouring medium, global, keep it simple pouring medium, kiss for short. Uh, this one is cobalt blue, so it's kind of like a really nice sky blue. This one, I added a little bit of the silver to this too, so as to give it the metallic-y, whole metallic-y feel through it. It only had a tiny bit, but I can see it glistening with the metallic in there when I just lifted that up, so that's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, now I've got to put a bit of a contrast in there, which I'll go the actual phalo blue the dark just it is just the dark blue and i'll just give that a bit of a wiggle i might just do that in the two corners oh i'm really liking those colors they're beautiful beautiful oceany rightio now this was um metallic copper but I did add a bit of burnt umber to it to send it a richer colour. So I might go that in there too. Again, I might keep that to just the two corners. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And I was going to add, but I'm, I think I'll keep it out. It's like a burnt orange. It was the wicker, but I think I'm going to keep it out because I think that will make it a more classier kind of effect as that is. See, having that um, already ring pour in the centre um, just looks nice, I reckon. Anyway, give it a whiz over with my heat one. So step two is my little mini blower. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right here. Um, I think I would like to do a few blows in.
Okay. I think what it definitely needs. Well, my dogs are just trotting around here because they've been chasing something that's in the bush. I don't know if it's a, I don't know what it is, but they I had to bring them in because they were making too much noise. But anyway, I've got a deflated balloon. Let's see how we go with this. Oh, don't start in here, puppies. So I'm just gonna use this deflated balloon and see if I can bring in some softness to it. Soften it up, which I always think the balloon can do. And also look what it's doing. It's taking away a lot of the paint where it's very heavy. I mean, and you can definitely be kissing your balloon onto another canvas. like humans they hate being shushed <laughs> okay I think this is bringing in a bit of softness to it hey bend sure shush I'm not going out there to hurt a kangaroo trust me rightio I might have to let this dry off a bit it's very there's a lot going on it looks like turbulence I absolutely love the blues. I might work, continue working a bit with the balloon to soften the whole thing up. But I'm loving it so far, so we'll keep going. Okay, guys, I just uh, really put the balloon kissing in the corner and left the rest of the areas to look a bit like, you know, turbulent ocean kind of thing. And I did some a balloon rolling. I wasn't completely happy. I think it was... A big mistake for me maybe not to put some more contrasting colors in there um yeah it was kind of it does look i mean my husband said it looks wonderful so there you go but anyway hope you enjoyed i will be back tomorrow with something bright and cheerful i think bye for now